Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWork.com, and today we'll be doing uh, first in a series of videos in our Intel um, PC build. This is our Ivy Bridge build. We promised one uh, this year, so this uh, whole build is brought to you by Intel and uh, Kingston. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. So Intel sent us the motherboard as well as the uh, processor, and we have today uh, the Intel DZ77GA. Dash 70k uh, motherboard, which is actual Intel's top of the line motherboard. Uh, honest, uh, this is my first time using the Intel board, guys. So um, I just want to show you everything with the board. We also have the chipset on the board itself, as it was sent to us. So the um, the D the DZ 77G uh, 70k board is an Intel K series processor board, um, highly optimized for your um, your Ivy Bridge processors. Now this will also uh, run a second generation Sandy Bridge. Uh, um, um, our processor for you because it is LGA 1155 uh, processor support. Uh, you've got the new Intel Visual BIOS, which we will show you uh, once we do the build and show you how it works. And it's pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Smart response. We've got PCI uh, Express 3.0. We have Bluetooth Wi-Fi uh, front modules and a USB 3.0. Uh, so let's go ahead, um, open this up. You can see the, the casing all black um, here. This now this board will run you probably around 229 on Newegg right now. So just giving you a, a price so you guys can uh, reference. This is the board itself. Let's just set that aside for a second and see what else you know comes with the package in here. So we have our Bluetooth uh, module, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi module here, which technically just looks like this, and which you connect via, of course, uh, USB. So that's the Bluetooth module module here. Sorry. And then, of course, we have uh, paneling. Plus aside, you've got HDMI out on this board, so you can see that there. Some more paneling cable, your CD. We've got an SLI bridge here. This supports SLI as well as um, Crossfire. And it's cool, cool Intel. Um, if I'm mistaken, yeah, that's a trackpad there. So it's pretty nice. Probably use that. So that's pretty much what we have here in the casing um, in the box here. So we'll set that aside and let's take a good look at our processor and um, our motherboard here. So we'll pull this out. This is the Intel uh, DZ77G board here. So let's take a look at the side panels here. First thing you notice in the panel here is you've got actually a full slew of uh, ports. You've actually got 10 ports in total for USB um, 2.0, uh, four outside and six on the board inside. You've got eight for USB 3.0. Now, now this is the USB 2.0 ports, one, two, three, four. Um, you've also got eight uh, USB 3.0 ports, again, four here and two. You've got two gigabyte, uh, gigabit ports here. So one, two, the actually two gigabit ports, which are pretty cool. You've got HDMI out, you've got your optical, so, and all your um, audio ports here. So this board comes with a full sound complement uh, that a lot of gamers uh, would like. As you can see, our chip is already on the board there, so uh, that's our Intel 3770K. Uh, now, that chipset also supports an inbuilt Intel um, um, HD 4000 uh, graphics card, so this will definitely allow you to output uh, through the HDMI port right here. So, of course, we do some gaming on that, we'll show you uh, on here. Of course, there's a chipset here, the, the K processor chipset. You have your PCI Express port, and you can also, of course, throw in two graphics cards there. Uh, now, um, we have um, four DIMM slots for up to 32 gigabytes of storage on this board, um, which allows you to, um, yeah, I think it's uh, PCI, uh, DDR3 PCI um, 1600 plus. Uh, now, the bottom here, of course, you have all your uh, ports for your connectors. You do have, of course, on the top hand side, you can see here, uh, SATA ports here. We have, um, I'm guessing this is eight SATA ports here. So this is a very solid board. Now, um, like I said, this is my first time using an Intel board for an Intel build. Um, so I'm very interested to see at uh, seeing how this performs. Um, and um, I'd also would like to show you guys. I definitely would love to show you guys the visual BIOS on this because uh, it. It, I've seen uh, demos of it and it's pretty cool. It allows you to overclock and manage uh, board systems like on the fly. It's very, very simple. I can't stress that enough, but we'll get to show you that 
um, in a few. But overall, you can see the board is very simple, very clean. I like the layout. Uh, you can see, of course, your 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 memory slots are here. This is where your CPU goes. We'll be using liquid cooling here from Antec. Um, so we'll actually have that with this. Antec's also uh, one of the supporters uh, of this build um, uh, with Intel and Kingston. So we'll have that on there. And eventually we will have a dedicated graphics card. But I really want to show you guys the inbuilt uh, uh, graphics parallels of the uh, of the 3770K with the uh, Intel uh, HD 4000 uh, chip. You have, uh, it's actually an onboard. Uh, if you see, I don't know if you guys can see that uh, clearly. See that the power and reset buttons? They actually onboard power and reset buttons there for you. So, um, you know, one of the, if you guys are modders and want to mess around with your board, you do have all the things that you need here. This is a pretty cool board. Again, um, you've got, if I just quickly summarize here, you've got uh, 10 USB 3.0 ports, uh, I mean, 10 USB 2.0 ports, four out, six um, on, on the board. You've got eight USB 3.0, four on here, uh, eight, uh, another four on the board. You've got all your digital outputs. Uh, completely, you've got HDMI out. Um, you've also got uh, two gigabit ports here, uh, two solid gigabit ports. So um, that's something to note. Um, so um, that's pretty much it, guys. We will continue the build with another video, but we just want to show you the Intel DZ77GA-70K uh, dash as well as the Intel um, uh, Ivy Bridge uh, 3770K uh, processor. So have any questions or any comments about this board, let us know. Again, you can get the board. Uh, I believe now it's around 229 at, New, at Newegg. The processor is like 329 and you, know, you can check prices for that. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let us know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all Border Worker 2.0. So this is Thunder E saying thank you, and always enjoy entertainment.